nothing but white to actually seeing the asphalt. What a difference 24 hours makes. But some roads took not one, not two, not three, but four people behind the bumper. You can't just walk by and not try to like, ask for help at least. Levy Santel is in the middle, pushing this Camaro through the snow. Finally gaining some traction. They were able to plow through the powder. But like, oh, that was a, a good workout. Some folks didn't even want to take the chance. I tried earlier, it's just I couldn't get out of the driveway. Greg Holland quickly realized his small sedan would end up in a similar situation and took the safe way to the convenience store. How far of a walk was it to the Easy Mart? Two miles, maybe. He did find the roads were almost as dangerous on foot as four wheels. So I just slipped and fell. So. As he takes his final steps back home, this is where I'm going. He says there was one thing that made the trek all worth it. But the person in front of me bought my coffee. So that was really nice. Very nice. Well, here is a look at some of the snow packed roads. It is slick. We are sliding, so we're probably going to try to get off this pretty soon. But again, please be careful if you do have to get behind the wheel. These roads are only going to get worse as the next storm comes in, covering over this, what you see right now. But we will stay out here the rest of the night and give you updates as we continue driving through the, through the roads. Reporting live in North Little Rock, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you. Yeah.